The number of people sleeping rough in London has doubled in the last five years. We walk past them every day. But instead of helping, we'd rather cross the road, walk into a coffee shop and treat ourselves to a three pound skinny latte. We thought, what if the money people spend on their coffee also help the homeless? So, we recruited staff at local homeless shelters. We trained and gave them the tools to make great coffee and paid them the London living wage. And Change Please was born. A new self-sustaining business model, staffed by the homeless to help the homeless. We joined forces with The Big Issue and launched with one cart in Covent Garden in November 2015. And people seemed to like it. A thousand coffees sold in our first week, 2.6 million social media impressions, and word spread as far as Russia, Japan and Australia. Well, Change Please is a London-based social enterprise which is about good coffee doing good things. The big issue like is moving uh, from magazines into the takeaway coffee market the by selling magazine espresso. magazine and sold by the once homeless is hitting the streets. A couple of months ago, Liam Mulligan was more used to finding somewhere to make a bed. Not only is it helping me with my housing, but also it's getting me back into society. There are always other ways of doing it. Not everybody wants to be a big issue vendor. Exactly. Like um, a stepping stone out, out of the darkness. And the more coffee we sold, the more carts we bought, and the more homeless people we trained. Four months on, and we've sold 78,000 cups of coffee. The number of homeless on the streets is steadily going down as the number of carts on the street goes up. Even a major UK supermarket is planning to stop the coffee, and the BBC has made a documentary about the initiative. This is just the beginning and it's a business model that is scalable nationally and internationally. And more importantly, it proves that if you want to change the world, all you have to do is change where you buy your coffee.